I can't get a picture. Oh, are you posing for me now? Where is Aussie? Oh, he's cute. It came right up to me, and then as soon as I turned on the camera, it wouldn't stop moving. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, there was a little chipmunk down there. I know. Did you get him? I'm taking video of the squirrel eating. Oh, there he goes up the shoulder. Down there. <laughs> He's a fat little girl. <laughs> Is that nature great? It's all around. And taking video of the squirrel eating. There's a little tiny bird there. Squirrel. He's cute. Yeah. Come on, squirrel. <laughs> Take something off the corn. Because it's funny. He is eating with his hands. No, yeah, I want him to like bite it off the corn. There you go. He's having lunch. There's the other one. They're taking turns. They're taking turns eating corn. <laughs> I wish I had light. <laughs> it smells like 180 years old. <laughs> I wonder if it's haunted. If it is, it's going to pick up on the camera. I'll tell you a story about that later. <laughs> Anyway, this house is like 180 years old, and 15 people lived in this house. And I guess this is all the toys and stuff that they had. The kids are up here. Okay, let me see if I can get So the cabin was built by this guy here. <coughs> and bear in mind, everything you see up there, you had your hands in making, and we leave it just as messy as our kids would have. <laughs> <laughs> What's it look like? I'm afraid you, to go up the stairs. It's yeah. really cool. You should go up there. Yeah, you, pretty heist. much. There's yeah. no rail. <laughs> yeah, you had your hands in making those stuff because there weren't any Toys R Us or Kmart or Walmart at that time, right? <laughs> Everything um, was made out of wood. <laughs> yes. Uh, and some pretty cool toys, like this one here is a climbing gingerbread that's man. That's you put it like this and you pull. Oh, that's so cute! Oh, that's so cute! This one here is humbling Tom, you just hold him like this, and this is Tom here. And you just put him, and you let go. And you're gonna put it. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's but there are more there are, there are more sophisticated <laughs> toys. Oh, you're gonna put it on the floor. Oh, he's 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 gonna put it um, there's one that the Chinese have named Pi, those games goes back for thousands of years. But when you play those games, it was a way of developing in the personal relationship in terms of okay. learning a person's behavior pattern. You could tell when one is stressed, you could tell one who, when one is anxious, you could tell when one is, seems to be bewildered or hesitant based on all these facial expressions. And you find that grandparents or great great grandparents were very much good, very much keen observers. In, in, in terms of detecting or predicting your responses. For example, you walk through the door one day and grandma and grandpa may ask you, what are you up to or what have you done? And you're like, nothing. But they know whether you've been into the cookie jar or the sugar bucket. It's not that they see any crumbs there, but just that when you lie, you tend to do something like this. Yeah. Right? Or do something like this. Right. And uh, your grandpas just know that that uncle and your family this is the outhouse. <laughs> so we found this place over by a garden that we go to all the time. And it's got a nature center down there. And we've never been up here. And this is really cool. <laughs> so I'll film the front of the house in a second.
This one even looks like a chair. Yeah, I mean, I think you're... 